Welcome back, Dr. David Prescott from Northern Light Health is here. Doc, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, a lot of time people want to, you know, the sign uh, joy and happiness. You know, they don't make signs that go up that say loneliness or the feeling, other feelings that other people do deal with around this time of year, but that certainly is something that really can come to the surface. Uh, what sort of things do you deal with around this time of year? Yeah, we really watch that. You hope that the holiday season is good for everybody, but you just know it's not going to be good for all people. What we really watch for for people, um, there's a couple things going on. Certainly the seasonal component, right? We're almost to the shortest day of the year, and we know that depression rates go sure. up with that. It's pretty well documented. But then a lot of people start to feel lonely over the holidays, and sometimes that can lead to depression, or if they've been a little you know, clinically depressed, it can get a lot worse. And, th and then you feel bad that you shouldn't feel that way, and that kind of makes the whole thing tumble even further. Are there warning signs, things to keep aware of that maybe, uh, even just, maybe not loved ones or people that you're aware of, coworkers, things, people that you interact with that are a little different, a little off? Yeah, there are. One of the first things I start with, Brian, is that being alone at the holidays or any time is not the same thing as being lonely. So some people just don't like a lot of social contact. They're pretty happy with a few close friends and stuff like that. And then, but then there are some people who are around other people all the time, yet they feel incredibly lonely. They don't feel connected. So, you know, kind of watching for the person who maybe uh, is changing some of their patterns, pulling back a little bit, or they just don't feel like themselves. People are pretty honest if you ask them. So I encourage just in a caring way, ask, you know, how are you doing? Are you maybe going through a tough time? People usually appreciate that. What should someone do if they do find themselves feeling lonely, intense feelings of, of loneliness. Yeah, yeah, and I would say with the recent, you know, the power outages, anybody who's been trying to trending that way, stress kind of makes it worse, mm -hmm. so you may be really feeling it now. What I encourage people to do is to focus not, again, not just on being around people, but trying to connect with people. So there's a lot of small ways that we can connect with people. Sometimes you've got some people in your life, you know, it can be little things like giving your place in line to somebody at the checkout, mm -hmm. um, buying coffee for the person behind you, just going out of your way to do something nice for somebody you know or somebody you don't know. It's that connection with other people to feel like, oh, you know, maybe I made a little difference in your life. That just starts to make the loneliness start to disappear and your mood starts to pick up. What about, you know, living your life online and social media and some and seeing how what, what other people are putting out there and maybe feeling I don't know, envious, what might be a word. Yeah. What should you do about your social yeah. media? I can go on a tear about this, so I'll, I'll try to keep it short. You know, social media really, for a lot of people, just magnifies that loneliness. So you can compare yourself to others. You know, we, we've talked a lot about this. You, you see other people who, through their posts, create something that probably isn't that real. Mm -hmm. So I'm a big fan of just limiting it. You know, you get, I often tell people to start that reminder every week how much screen time you've had. See if you cut it down by 10 minutes a day or something like that, and then do something deliberate to maybe something you've enjoyed or reach out to a person directly, give them a call. Just break that pattern of as soon as you get start to feel bored or distracted, picking up your phone and starting to scroll. Just breaking that pattern is a great start. Anything else you think is important to keep in mind this time of year? You know, we do watch for people, any, I always say, if you start to get depressed to the point you're thinking of, of suicide or you just get preoccupied with thoughts of death or it's not worth it, you really want to reach out out quickly to a mental health hotline or your primary care or a mental health profess professional. You don't want to think that you have to put that off till after the holidays. Always reach out right away if you ever start to experience uh, that. Northernlighthealth.org slash how are you is a great spot for online tools to figure it all out. Before I, I let you go, I do want to ask you uh, just a, one thing that everybody's dealing with is just a lack of, of power. And I think a lot of people are it's easy to have frustrations boil over. You know, you drive through one neighborhood that has electricity, you do not. Patience, uh, any advice for us as we try and get ready for the holidays, maybe in the dark? Yep, yeah. First off, the feelings are normal, right? The stress level just goes up. People who are trying to pull off a, a tricky holiday is just give yourself a break. The other thing is perspective, right? I always start, it's old advice, but just take a breath, right? Try to think about the big picture of what we're dealing with and just the fact that it isn't fair that's you know don't let that be the thing that's going to push you to make somebody's day a little bit worse sure i mean i my
my, my, uh, my, my Bible study is a little bit off, but I don't think there was any power in that manger when uh, no. the big man showed up. So no, I think it was just yeah. a star. Yeah, that was yeah. About it, I think right? that's how they got through. So, right? We go way back and uh, all is well. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, have a happy holiday and thank you, you for your time. Well. All right.